After studying salt hydrolysis, we shall now switch over to the next article of this chapter, that is Oswald dilution law. If you remember, while telling about the points of Arrhenius theory of ionization, I had described one of the important factors for degree of ionization, it was dilution. At the time, we had noted that more is the dilution, more is the degree of dissociation. Let us see how dilution affects the degree of ionization or degree of dissociation. Oswald gave a law for that and it is defined as at constant temperature degree of dissociation alpha for a weak electrolyte is proportional to the square root of its dilution. What is dilution? Here dilution V means reciprocal of molar concentration C. So we can say V equal to 1 upon C. Now consider a weak acid HA dissociating into H plus and A minus ions in aqueous medium. So HA equal to H plus plus A minus Suppose we have one mole of HA in the beginning, then alpha is its degree of dissociation. So at equilibrium it will be 1 minus alpha, alpha for H plus ions and alpha for A minus ions. But if the total volume of the solution is equal to V liter, then the active mass of each species at equilibrium will be 1 minus alpha upon V, alpha upon B, and again alpha upon V. Therefore, applying law of mass action, we can write Ka equal to alpha square upon V into 1 minus alpha. Further, since alpha is much less than 1 for weak electrolytes, weak acid or weak base, Therefore, we can say Ka is equal to alpha square upon V or alpha square equal to Ka into V. Since Ka is constant at constant temperature, therefore we conclude that alpha is proportional to under root V. Since V is equal to 1 upon C, so we can say alpha is proportional to 1 upon under root C. Therefore, we can use the equation Ka equal to alpha square C upon 1 minus alpha for exact calculation of alpha for a weak acid or for a weak base it will be likewise Kb equal to alpha square C upon 1 minus alpha. But in the approximate form which is widely used, we can write Ka equal to alpha square C. It means if we start with a concentrated solution of a weak acid or a weak base, then if we go on diluting the solution with the addition of water, then alpha for weak acid or weak base will be increasing. Let us illustrate it by taking following example. Here is a question. Calculate alpha, that's the degree of dissociation, for the following solutions of acetic acid at 25 degrees Celsius. Given that Ka is equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 5, the concentrations are 10 to the power minus 2m, 10 to the power minus 4m, and 10 to the power minus 6m. Let us do the calculation for 10 to the power minus 2m solution. For this, using the formula Ka equal to alpha square C upon 1 minus alpha, let us go for exact calculation of alpha. We can write 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 5 equal to 
alpha square into 10 to the power minus 2 upon 1 minus alpha. This becomes a quadratic equation that is 10 to the power minus 2 alpha square plus 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 5 alpha minus 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 5 equal to 0. This equation can be solved and we get the value of alpha equal to 0.041 or we can say alpha is equal to 4.1%. Similarly, we can do calculations for 10 to the power minus 4 m solution. The corresponding quadratic equation will now become 10 to the power minus 4 alpha square plus 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 5 alpha minus 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 5 equal to 0. A solution of this equation gives alpha equal to 0 0.3437 or alpha equal to 34.37 percent. Look here. We have increased the dilution from 10 to the power minus 4 m to 10 to the power minus 6 m and the degree of dissociation has gone up from 4.1 percent to 34.37 percent. Similarly, if we do calculations for 10 to the power minus 6 m solution of acetic acid, then the corresponding equation becomes 10 to the power minus 6 alpha square plus 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 5 alpha minus 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 5 equal to 0. The solution of this quadratic equation gives alpha equal to 0 0.916 or we can say alpha is equal to 91.6%. Here is a very important point to be noted, that is, Oswald dilution law is not applicable to strong electrolytes, that is, strong acid, strong base and the salts, because they are considered to be almost completely dissociated at all dilutions.